Welcome back everybody for episode 3. Today we will be talking about my opinion why Raid Shadow Legends is not the number one gacha game and the current state of the game in a whale's perspective. First of all, I would like to thank everybody for the feedback in the last two videos um, regarding the sound issues that I had. I really appreciate it. I got on top of it right away. I got a new setup with a microphone now, so the sound should be significantly better than it was in the previous two videos. So I just want to say thank you again. Um, I take the comment section very seriously. So whatever feedback you guys can give me to help grow this channel, I will truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So. With that in mind, um, I'd like to say that I really do love this game a lot. And as I mentioned before, this is the only game that I actually play. However, being a business owner myself, um, I know what's hurting this game, in my opinion, and uh, why it's not the best gotcha game that's out there. In my opinion, to get to the meat and potatoes, it's truly all about the lack of content. I will explain my thoughts, and here's a screenshot of one of Chosen's latest videos um, as I watched this video, I noticed that Epic 7 had come out roughly around the same time as Ra Raid Shadow Legends. And uh, you will notice that um, if you watch this video, that Epic 7 blew way past uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, even though Raid Shadow Legends spent significantly more money in advertising than Epic 7. Raid Shadow Legends is, has a niche. They have the best graphics in the industry. However, they truly lack in content. And what I mean by this is um, I have never really been free to play in this game, but I can only imagine what it's like to be a free to play player in Raid Shadow Legends. You probably have roughly, say, half an hour to one hour worth of content to play every day. Um, you know, doing the clan boss, doing a few arena matches, and then you're going to need to like use up your energy. So let's just say pushing it two hours. While other games in this industry, they have much, much more time that you can uh, use as a free-to-play player to do many different things. So, while Raid Shadow Legends is spending money like crazy in advertising uh, so that they can attract new players, players play it for a little while and slowly drop off due to lack of content. That, again, is again subjective to my opinion. Uh, my advice, because I don't ever sit here and tell you guys, oh, here's a problem, here's a problem. No, I, I always look at things optimistically and look at what a good fix would be for a situation. So in my advice to Polarium, if this video hopefully gets to them, is to push the brakes on advertising and push the gas on content creating. Um, readjust the budgets there just a little bit from... From what I can see right now, if I had to guess, as I don't know their books or anything like that, they are pushing way more of their budget in advertising than they are in uh, in content creating. And I mean, if you guys know, you can look at the war uh, the roadmap that was released last year that was supposed to be completed by December, and we are now halfway through 2020, and they still have not even released any other parts of that roadmap, maybe one or two parts. So I would definitely say that that's the bottleneck right there. Um, that they really should focus on that. Um, the next topic that I want to cover is in regards to the next update and my thoughts about it. So the next update that will be released is, uh, is specifically about the 3v3 arena. Now, what are my thoughts on 3v3 arena? First of all, as you guys know, I am so into arena. This is the only thing that really drives me to play this game and the community. So with me being a whale that I am, having this kind of uh, champion list, I can tell you guys that I am sitting here scratching my head, trying to think of exactly what 12, pla 12 champions to use that are gonna be the best 12 champions for 3v3 arena. With that in mind, how do you think a free-to-play player would think? If I'm having trouble, would you imagine how much trouble they're having? Wouldn't it have been better for them to release something that provided more content for free-to-play players than to release a 3v3 arena next? I think that they should have released a Void Tower or a Hydra Clan boss instead to give the player base more content to play every day to keep them engaged, 
rather than this 3v3 arena. Now with that in mind, 3v3 arena is coming out regardless, but I truly hope that they do release the Hydra Clan boss and the Void Tower as soon as possible because I really feel like that would take this game very, very far if they do. Um, while I don't know much about Epic 7, I can certainly promise you that they did not spend the money that a Raid Shadow Legends did on advertising. This will bring me to my next topic, which is the current state of the game in my perspective. While this may not apply to a lot of people, but as a person that fully cleared Faction Wars and finished maxing my Great Hall, the only thing that keeps me playing this game is Arena and the community. If I did not care about Arena, there would be nothing left for me to do. So I hope that the Void Tower that comes out will be really fun and keep the mid to late game players engaged and entertained. For me, since I am all about Arena and I would have finished second place uh, had it not been for boosting uh, this past reset, it's because of that that I finished fourth because the first two people that finished first and second boosted. It's disheartening to see that Arena reset uh, it, it's disheartening to see every arena reset the same person offering the same person offering uh, their boosting services. And what am I talking about here? Let me explain. This person right here, Axless. This is the person that offers all these boosting services. And I've already reported him to Polarium. A lot of people reported him already. I don't know how he's still playing the game. I don't know how he's still offering these boosting services, but I really do hope that this really stops. Um, and I'll explain how exactly the boosting works right now. So in Platinum Arena, you're only allowed to attack a player 10 times. And then you have to wait 15 minutes for each and every single time that you want to attack that same player after the 10 times that you originally attacked him. What they are doing now is that they're basically um, at boosting the player in gold 4, where there is no 10 limit mark. So they can, attack, they can attack that person and automatically lose to that person over and over and over again and boost that person to first place in Platinum. So it seems to me like it's a really easy fix to fix that. Just allow the 10 limit boost in Gold 4 and that would solve the issue. But I'm not entirely sure that that's as easy as that because I think they would have probably done it had it been that easy. But I know that they're looking into it and I know that this is something that they're going to fix right away. So I'm really excited about that and I'm really happy that they're going to do that because again, this does not apply to the most of the player base, but the people that are competitive like me and people that come on my stream to watch me finish arena, they would actually themselves like to see somebody actually have one of these medals instead of it be purchased, instead of these medals being purchased like this individual here purchasing three medals to actually earn it and to have that medal say, yes, I finished number one because I am a gladiator. I finished because I did not boost. I did not cheat. I did not want to go into a rant or anything like that. I wanted to keep my uh, my video on a positive note, but I did want to share uh, at the end of the day what my thoughts are and uh, where I'm coming from. With that in mind, here's a screenshot of what it looks like, what my arena defense looked like the last eight minutes or 10 minutes of arena reset. And as you can see, um, the student should probably teach the sensei um, how, the, how to cheese. When you ask Manny, what do you mean by cheese? As you can see, this is the last eight minutes, as I mentioned before. Three players in this list attacked me with a level one champ. The reason why they attacked me with a level one champ is so my boosters, which is Arbiter and Sifi, would attack that level one champ instead of boosting. Since I am faster than them, um, that's their way of trying to attack me and uh, and um, and win against me. Because as you can see, I have a 371 speed uh, Sifi. So either Sifi or Arbiter, due to the fact that I cannot see my arena defense, I don't know which one does it. I'm pretty sure it's Arbiter, um, would attack um, the level one champ instead of using her boost so that way I can actually properly defend which is one other thing that I truly hope that they fix 
The reason I wanted to show you this screenshot is because this is a sneak peek of what you should expect to see in my next video, which is I'm excited, excited to announce will be a collaboration between me and Scratch AK47 this Sunday. Um, we will be doing it around one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure when it will be uploaded, but it's going to be fully focused on arena defense. Um, as I mentioned in my previous videos, this channel was created to help the player base in arena in 3v3 arena. I will only specialize and make this make this channel purely about that and other topics from now and then um, that I think that will be important for you guys to uh, for you guys to know about that I should cover. Um, with that in mind, I really want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you guys subscribe and share this video. And I cannot wait for new content, uh, for me to release new content. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening.